Alright guys, Kazoo71 here on my Scorched Earth playthrough. Last week I tamed another Phoenix and then I took that Phoenix out and killed a Rock Elemental just to see what it does. So I want to pick up where I'm at here. I What I did was I ate some rare flowers so I could tame this uh, Tapanjera. It's really cool colors. I saw it up in the air and so ate the rare flowers, made it follow me to the ground. Then I just used the Harpoon Launcher and the Net Projectile and netted it. So now I'm going to use the crossbow with the tranquilizer arrows and knock this sucker out. And we're going to tame this Tappinger. Just wanted to add this part in there. I should have started recording when I first went up there. It was way up by, uh, by the obelisk. Way up in the air. I saw it earlier kind of low and it flew away. And I was trying to trying to get its attention and I messed up. and I don't know what happened. But there we go. We got it knocked out. It didn't take too many trank arrows to get this thing knocked out. As you can see, I've still got the uh, effects of the... Uh, what do you call it? The rare flower on me, so you can hear a raptor out there trying to attack me. Anything you get near with these effects on is going to try to get you. And then, so, I'm going to go ahead and tame this guy. What I have is it, uh, I think I told you guys this before in one of the previous episodes, I brought my text writer from Genesis 2 over. And then what I have is I, I put it on the, um on the island and i showed you guys that on my island playthrough and also then i brought it here what i did initially so you guys know if you haven't watched any of these episodes is i started building everything by scratch with the dodicarus the argentavis and just kind of harvesting things on my own i used a chainsaw for the wood and that's what we were doing when we first got on the map and then eventually i pulled out the text writer after i showed you guys i do most of it like that but i didn't want to sit here and spend all this time collecting so i kind of sped it up a little bit with my text writer um just one of the things you can do when you're playing across several platforms, but I'll show you guys everything legit first and how it works. But you can also use um, the text writer if you got one. It works really well. So um, what I'm using is Dino Storage 2 mod on this one. I'm on PC. I'm on Steam. And Dino Storage 2 mod and Superstructures, and then that's it. And as you can see, my partner there, last week or the week before, I was showing you guys I was building that platform there where I leveled out the wall, and I made it all even, and I did it so that she could build a huge garden um and she built a huge garden it's pretty darn big and uh she's been working on it this morning and and she's got that thing almost done and we just got to put a roof on it so it's a huge square or rectangle but it is massive and we got lots of stuff and we'll be able to get lots of kibble out of that so which is really cool when I do them, I always do these small gardens, and uh, I do like the sloped roofs and stuff. There's always small. When she does them, she does these huge things. <laughs> it just It's for, um, what do you call it? It's not for looks. It's for purpose, and you need the, uh, we need the vegetables for the kibble and stuff. So um, I never make as much kibble as she does. Yeah, she's really fast about making kibble, which is way better than the way I do it, which is really, really slow. One of the things she does better than I do is make a kibble, and I'm not very good at it. I make a little bit at a time. She makes like hundreds at a time, <laughs> so I'll be a little slow. Um, so what I need is I just put some prime meat in that uh, type of jar, and it's almost spoiled. So I'm going to go get some more and kill this Paraceratheum over here. We just need to get this thing dead. And then we'll harvest its uh, prime meat. So this episode is not going to be like... Um, some super exciting put myself in life and death danger type stuff i just want to show you guys a couple of things i'm doing around the base not a not boring boring but you know just just what's going on as we're building and working on things and some of the things we're doing and you may not know how to do these things so if you watch you'll see what i'm doing so what i'm doing is grabbing this prime meat out of the rg and i'm gonna throw it in the tapping jar and then we're going to work on her garden a little bit because that's what's important and she's got all the glass and everything done i don't need to help her with that she's got it all i'm just going to help her with a couple of things that go in there and that is the gardener and the farmer now the gardener and the farmer are superstructures items what the gardener does is the gardener, I believe, is the one that will take the poop uh, out of the collector over there and then feed it into the dung beetles and then feed the fertilizer from the dung beetles into the, the crop plots. And then the farmer will harvest all the seeds and the crops as they grow. So we don't have to do anything. All we got to do is go up to the farmer. And, and pick up whatever crops we need or if we're using superstructures to pull stuff to craft it just pulls straight out of the farmer so we don't have to do all this other stuff and go you know each crop plot and pull stuff up and each thing put stuff in initially you got to when you first start but once you get the farmer and the gardener going everything works great so if you're playing on pc 
and you're and you're you're capable of having mods i suggest you use superstructures because once you get those mods in there everything goes a lot smoother with the gardens and that's probably why she's able to collect and make so much kibble so fast that she's really good at using the uh the gardener and the farmer and i use them but i don't really focus on them so much i just kind of set them out there and make them go on my larger maps when i'm playing i got them going pretty regularly but um, she's the one that taught me the necessity of using them uh, along with another player that plays on my server. Um, his name is Retro, and he's like, he's the one that first introduced me to the farmer. So I'm like, oh, man, this, this is awesome. So, But there we go. There's the Tapanjera, guys. We got the Tapanjera tamed, and as you can see, the Jaboa is telling me there's a heat wave coming, but we got a little bit of time. But I um, just want to grab this Tapanjera. I'm going to go show my partner here, show her what it looks like. Because she's steadily building over there. Let me get a good picture. See if I can get a good picture of this. Uh, kind of hard to do. Might use this tapping jar as the image. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get back over. Huh? So I may use that as the image. Or I may use a beer barrel. Because we're going to make a lot of beer in this one. That's what we got to do. Because the... Um, like I said, the gardener runs on the tech generator. Or beer. And then the farmer runs on the tech generator or on Callian soup. And we don't have a tech generator, so we're going to have to do what we can do. So we're going to make the Callian soups, and we're going to make some beer. So we got to set up the beer barrels and everything and get those things going. And that's what I'm about to do as soon as I show her this tap and jar. Or as my daughter calls them, the tape jars. They're pretty cool. Crap for weight, though, but they're pretty cool. So there we go. I'm gonna pick this thing up. We're gonna move forward. I'm gonna do a couple of other things here and show you guys what's going on. What's going on is the heat wave is in full effect, and then I made a second feeding trough. I've been working on the building, as I, as I, I mentioned, my partner is an expert on doing kibble, and that's why all these dinos are in here. You have the Argentavis sitting out here. You have the Carnos, the Raptors, and the Uteranuses all sitting in this dino building I'm working on. That way they can just constantly lay eggs and we constantly have a, a bunch of kibble. So while using here is a transfer gun, this is superstructure. So I just transferred all the the stuff out of the one feeding trough into the other one because I'm putting them in a different area. I don't like where they were. Once I get the building going and we start adding dinos in here, it's going to get a little full. So we want to move it around. But this building is just to keep the dinos safe so that they can lay eggs. Not so we can look at them. That's not what they're for. And as you can see, I have the nanny in here as well. And that nanny is the other character in here that will raise the babies for you and fully imprint. So you put the you put food in the nanny's inventory and you throw her out there and she will feed the babies and imprint for you. And I wanted to show you guys a heat wave on myself. That's why I did that. So it looks like it's pretty much gone now because I don't put myself in third person. It don't really show it that well. So let me move this Megatherium out the way. Getting a little crowded over here. We're going to have to organize a couple of things. This is one of the gatherers I brought over from the island. And let's go ahead and move this out the way. I mean, I could soul ball it and move it, but it's easier just to punch it and make it move. Or you can make it follow you and make it move. That works too. <laughs> I like to punch them. Anyhow, going forward here, what I did was I was picking up the dung beetles out of the cages up there and bringing them in here. Now that she has the roof on the um, the garden, what we're doing is we're just throwing all the fertilizer we have in here. And we throw these dung beetles in here that they can wander around the garden. And they can wander. As long as you put them on wander, then the, uh, the gardener, I think it's the gardener. Yeah, the gardener will put poop in them and then they'll make fertilizer and they'll take the fertilizer out and you can see she also put compost bins in the back there so the quicker you want to fill these things up you got to do what she's doing and have the compost bin and the dung beetles all working at the same time and then you you have this massive garden going and everything just stays full so what i'm doing is i'm going to the ss crafting station and we're going to craft the gardener and the former so there's the gardener and then now let's do the farmer. And there's the farmer. I'll go ahead and craft them both. And then what I'm just going to do is hand them to her. She's in charge of the garden. It's her thing. I'm going to give them to her and let them put her where, where she wants them. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. I am doing any building in there. All I did was build the platform so she had somewhere to build this. So we had room in here. So 
um that's kind of how we do things we kind of hey i'll build this you build this that kind of stuff so we don't kind of clash with oh that looks like i would have done it this way or she would have done it this way we just say hey you take this i'll take this that's kind of how it goes so i'm gonna throw these out let her take care of these guys she could throw them where she wants We've been playing together, her and I, for a little over a year now, and kind of, kind of know what each other does, so it works pretty good. Probably more than that, actually. I don't even know. Started out when I opened up my Valgaro server, and she's the first person that joined me, and she's been playing with me ever since. It's way more fun when you play with people. I have a couple other people that play on my servers, but they don't play all the time. But she, she and I play constantly. So. Um, so anyway, gave her that, let her put that out. We're good to go. Now we're going to move on, and I am going to make some beer barrels and work on the beer barrel part as she puts the gardener and the farmer where she wants them. Don't need to worry about that. And I want to show you guys this part with the water pipe so you guys know what I'm doing with these pipes. Um, I just wanted to harvest over that, hover over that again and see what it takes. Excuse me. So let me grab my, I'm going to grab my wyvern, and I'm going to get these pipes laid out put them where i want them <laughs> a little crazy door action there so like i said going forward here i'm just going to get on this poison one that i have sitting out here it don't matter which one i use i just need to get over here in the water uh, where these pipes are coming down where i'm putting the beer barrels and then what's cool about the wyverns here once you got these guys this water by the red obelisk here you can just walk in the water there's tons of silica pearls in here so if you need the silica pearls there they are but as you can see the wyvern can walk in this water it's not that deep so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these pipes down, and I hate building with pipes. If you asked uh, who hates them more, me or one of the players on my server or one of my daughters, my youngest daughter hates it more than anybody, I think. She built this pipe system one time that went like halfway across the map. It was crazy. She thought it was funny, but it's very annoying building with these things. And as you can see, like I can't make it go up and down, so I had to put the cross pipe to make the straight pipe work. It's just so stupid. I wish they'd fix these snap points where they actually work sometimes. But there we go. It worked. Not complaining too much. Don't get me wrong, guys. Uh, this stuff works really good. Now, I just this is the superstructure's pipes. So as you can see, I went to the intake and I told it to hide all the connecting pipes so you don't see all that mess I had laid down there. So now that I got the pipes laid, that's where the beer barrels are because I set a couple of beer barrels down and I put a cross pipe. And then I put a, a vertical pipe, and then you put the beer barrel on the vertical pipe. Um, I have a video on that if you guys want to know how to make beer and what the beer is for and all that stuff. And somebody making fun of me when I say beer, how to make beer, who cares? Anyhow, <laughs> that was one of my earlier videos because the beer barrels are really crazy, and you need beer for these uh, for this gardener. So here we go. Here's the beer barrel. So now you can see they got a, they're full of water. So going forward here, what you got to do is you got to put thatch in them and berries, and then that will make beer liquid. And then you put empty water jars in them, and the empty water jars will fear with the, fill the beer liquid when it makes, and you have a beer jar. And then that's what you put inside the gardener, so the gardener's powered, and then the gardener will work. So I'm just kind of flashing forward a little bit here as I dump stuff in there. Um, we got these two going, and that's, you know, it's pretty slow to make beer liquid, as you can see in the top left there, and that the right side, but the top left of the right side. So it's pretty darn slow. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put a third one down, and I'm snapping a cross pipe in there. Like I told you, I'll show you how to do it. Then I'm snap the vertical, and once you got the vertical, and I can see it's got water, then you can just snap the beer barrel right to the vertical one. And I have obstructions turned off, so I can actually snap it into the wall a little bit, as you guys can see. Now, if you had obstructions on, it wouldn't let you do that. So going forward a little bit, we've been collecting, uh, putting quite a few dung beetles in there. So I told her I'd go grab a couple more dung beetles. So here I am grabbing another one. Just wanted to show you guys they're out in the dunes on Scorched Earth, if you didn't know. Um, they are also in the caves as well, but in the dunes, there's tons of them. So I'm going to drop that thing off. And I want to show you guys this uh, landing part. I was going to take this out, but I thought it was kind of funny because trying to land in this building, because I don't have the roof done yet, it's pretty difficult so you got to kind of turn the wyvern a couple of times and get it in there and there we go and then we're going to get on my rg get back down there and we're going to tame this dung beetle and there you go in this episode we have tamed a dung beetle well we will have tamed a dung beetle and we have tamed a tapping jar or tapping jar however you say that thing i don't know how to say it so what i'm doing is looking in the ss collector here grabbing some large poop makes the the dung beetle tame quicker 
and then we got our garden made we made the beer barrels for the garden we made the gardener we made the um, farmer so got everything going here so it should be pretty quick now one of the things about the dung beetles if you guys don't know you used to be able to pick them up and carry them they won't let you do that anymore so now you got to cryopot them or make them follow you or use a super, uh, the soul guns on the dino storage 2 mod. So, so there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Just a real simple one. I just want to show you guys a couple of things we were doing here on the base to get the thing built. And specifically the garden. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Any comments are appreciated. And I will see you next time.